Hello people, I'm Goku here, gonna back up Mega Man Rock Force Perfect Throne-In And it's time to board the Polar Express We're going after Justice Castle Stage 2 Now our Stage 1 was based around Fishman Stage 2 is based around Polar Man We've officially found the Ice Stage of the game So first off we're doing Igloos That will shoot out Ice Cubes To give them enough time you don't necessarily want, want him to do that though. Great, one up already. When I have the upper ground, it can be a little bit problematic. And dealing with ice flat ice floor is can be a little bit troublesome, but Probably too bad. The only way to get that life down there is the charade clone. I've tried riding the block and if, even if you jump on them, you still get hit. Which means charade clone is the other way. Oh my gosh, that's the second. It's very well, isn't it? Now, Eskimo Robbers. Kind of a neat touch how they changed the design just to fit the surroundings in this stage. That's really neat. I really like that. If you ever feel the need to stop slipping on a nice platform, just jump. It can be just a little tiny jump, that works as well. Now I've got these Snowman robots that, upon death, split into three different body parts that all have a hitbox themselves. As soon as this guy throws it, take him out. Make, just make sure he's not on the edge. Because if he's on the edge, when you kill him, his body, the middle part, will bomb you. And you don't really want that. Now, Fireman is the southern Fog Force team member to help us out. He'll burn this wall right down. Thanks a lot, dude. Get a free tank right there. And onwards to snow f um, tackle snowflakes, I guess. Whoa. Why these guys spawn is really unforgiving. Oh gosh. Just get out of here. One more of these guys. Just let him attack him. Can even hit his body mid bottom part of the body. That still hurts him. And now we've got robots which have a cold. They will breathe and ice platform will be made. That's your time to make it past. We've also got more of these skimmer robbers. Just make sure you don't touch the sh shockwave it's creating, as that can still hurt you. And as you've probably thought, figured out by now, you can't actually kill the robots because, well, you need them to get across, don't you? Yep, just follow them. And it's boss time. As you probably guessed it, it's going to be Polar Man, who also has two phases. First phase being quite odd, it's a gigantic snowmobile machine, I guess. That's his first attack, you can shoot a snowmobile, and his second attack is shooting the ice cube. That is the only time you can fight back. I just like navigating the snowball and then sliding away from it, jumping over its smaller snowmobiles. And he hasn't done his most annoying attack just yet, which I'm actually quite glad for. The snowmobile, snow attack, snowball attack. Can this be? Can he never do his most annoying attack? I don't believe it. What the? Oh, of course you have to do at least once. Yep, you've guessed it, it's the snow flakes. Okay, on to phase two of this battle. Jump over, jump over. And now his head will bounce like this. Just make sure you get underneath it. And Polar Man is down. That means 
Well, uh, Justice Castle Stage 2 is over. Whew. And that is it. That is the full party. Seven or well, five fusion robots. Two fortress bosses. Just save once more and we'll be continuing soon. For now, out takes the show. Spamming these snowflakes. I guess you can't hide that. Damn it! Head attack. For that, you just make sure you're out of the way. <laughs> no! No! That did not just happen. Times. Like, where they seem to spawn is, as you guessed it. Random. See what I mean? He comes in a gigantic truck. There's a snowflake attack, and there's a snowball attack. And which hits me. Damn you! That's the ones I'm using, but I'm just used to fighting them that way. And oh no. Oh, come on! Really? I, I mean, look at this! Too many snowflakes! So there you have it. Perfect one of Justice Castle Stage 2. This one, it was an okay stage. It had some trouble parts, but not too bad overall. Therefore, he gets a 4 out of 10. Just as Fishman did, Polyman gets it as well. The problems of this stage or can be ice physics, but the biggest threat definitely one enemy. Its name is Taco Snowflake. That one room of them spawning all over the place. You kill one, six shots come flying at you. You don't really want to kill them in that room. You saw even sometimes I tried to jump over, they decided to come at the wrong time. I was hopeless. And then comes Polar Man at the end. The truck phase isn't too bad, however it does take a bit of time as you can only get one shot. In, on a, in at him every time you send out an ice cube. If he just summons too many snowflakes, well, you get outnumbered and sometimes I, I was panicking when I saw six snowflakes at once. And then, Polar Man, oh my gosh, one line, one hit to go and he hits me. Wow, I guess Flam, after defeating Flam, like Satan's spirit wasn't fully destroyed. It possessed Polar Man. Oh, I'm glad to have you done. The one attack he didn't show in my perfect run is the running legs, but I'm pretty sure you've seen it, the outtakes. If not, well, the legs run at you, you have to jump left, right, left, right, left, right. If you remember the Nitro Man battle from Mega Man 10 on hard, it's basically dodging like that. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Later, guys.